Today, Ben shows Barry and I how to make this fancy French pastry. These are amazing dark chocolate and ginger eclairs. We're gonna start by making choux pastry with butter, flour, water, and eggs. And then we're gonna make a creme patisserie with milk, more eggs, and infuse it with ginger, and finish it with chocolate. This one sounds too good to be true. Well, we'll soon find out. Start off with our choux pastry. Water, an exact measurement goes in there, and if you can turn that on. And then, Mike, if you can throw butter in as well. What we want to do is bring the water up to a boil, but not too quickly, because we want to melt the butter at the same time. So this goes in at the same time? Yes, please. We can move on to the next step of the pastry as soon as all the butter's melted and the water is just boiling. Lovely. In the meantime, we can look at our creme patisserie. We're going to heat up some milk and infuse it with ginger. So we've got root ginger, which we just peel and then grate into there. And meanwhile, Mike, everything else goes into a mixing bowl. So that's seven egg yolks, which we need to separate wow. out. How many people does this serve? This will make easily make enough about 16 eclairs. Okay. 16. So that's seven eggs. And all we want to do is take them and separate them out. We'll collect the yolks in one side and whites in the other. So what could we do with this? What can we do with the egg whites? Meringues, souffles, mousse. And if you can't use them today, put them in a sandwich bag, put them in the freezer, mm -hmm. and you can use them whenever you want. Cool. How much ginger, Ben? Uh, we want to infuse quite a bit, so half probably inch. about half an inch. Now, Ben, I'm not sure if there's a technical answer for this or not. What's the difference between profiteroles rolls and eclairs? Is it just the size? Correct. Uses the same uh, batter, yep. choux pastry, it's a, it's, a, it's a pastry. You make and then you half cook it, which is what we're doing now. Bake it, they inflate, it's hollow inside, and you fill it with cream. So profiteroles or cream puffs, same as eclairs, just different okay. size. I've run out of eggs now. Perfect, seven, that's what we need. So our egg yolks, if you can whisk those up with our caster sugar, and then unlike if you're making a custard, we stabilise this and make it even thicker with corn flour. That is so yellow. And it is, isn't it? plain flour. And a little bit of vanilla extract, but don't forget we're also going to put in our ginger infused milk, so not too much. Whilst we wait for our milk to infuse and come up to a boil, we can move back to our pastry. We can dump in the plain flour. It's going to go instantly stiff, so just whisk it all up. It'll turn into a lumpy batter at first, and then keep going until it's nice and smooth. And keep whisking until it leaves the side of the pan, which is about like that. that. Yep. So you can see it's kind of a bit more glossy, Ooh. less lumpy, and that's what we need. Four eggs into our mix. Now at the moment it's just flour, butter and water. We now enrich it with eggs. So if you whisk, one egg at a time, into there. And because it's hot and the flour's hot, it's already a half-cooked pastry. Mm. It's one of the only pastries that you pre cook before you bake. Oh, okay. You're gonna help me with the creme patisserie now. So you can smell that, the ginger is infused into Ooh. milk. Yeah. You whisk, I'll pour. And once that's all in there, dip the whole thing back into the pan, back over a heat, and cook it until it thickens. Now, unlike a custard, because it's got the flour in there to stabilise it, yeah. you can actually let it boil. Keep stirring it, you need to keep stirring it, but it's not a problem if it boils, because that's how we want it to thicken. Okay. So now our shoe pastry holds its form, which means it's perfect to go into a piping bag, and we can pipe it out our eclair shapes, exactly the same as you would with fish rolls, onto a baking tray, which we've lined with baking paper. A little snip off the bottom, down, and a line, They're four across. Well, don't forget they really expand. Ben knows what he's doing. The creme patisserie nice and thick now. This is what French chefs treat as concrete, pastry chefs. They say this is the concrete... What, the build houses? Of the, it's, it's basically the building blocks of French pastry. That makes more sense. So our ginger infused creme patisserie can now go into the fridge to cool and our eclairs can go into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and then we can come back and fill them. With the eclairs baked and cooled, we can now wow. cut into them and then we can put our filling inside. So they should be really light. Really light, and the reason is inside. Are they fluffy or what? They're hollow. And that's what we're gonna put all our wow. cream mix in, okay? Plus, Mike, if you can take our dark chocolate, pop it into a bowl and melt that down in the microwave. And yep. Barry, if you yes. can spoon our cooled creme patisserie into there. Ugh, that's really thick. Really thick, and you want it to hold its shape now. Could we just use normal cream? You can just whip up cream, sweeten it, flavour it, yeah. and use that, but traditionally it would be creme patisserie. It's classic. Now, if you can mm. snip the end off of that. That is I'll amazing. Cut just enough ginger, isn't there? Mm. And we'll cut into a few more of these. And then inside of our clairs, if you can just squeeze some of our creme patisserie. You want about that much, so that there's plenty of cream in there, and then give it chocolate a good stir. Take the eclair, and then just dip it into our melted chocolate. Oh, yeah. And that is it good to go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I was going to say this is one of the best desserts we've ever Jeez. done, but we've done so many that I couldn't even tell you which is my favourite. Where at, Mike? Facebook, forward slash sorted food. Or 
youtube.com forward slash sorted food. You get the message, yeah? Sortedfood.com, you know where it's at. I've also got some stem ginger here, so really sweet so, so, so. ginger. Do you want to take some of those and put those across the chocolate? Just scatter them across. Oh, Are these bits of ginger strong? Try some, see what you think. I mean, they're quite, they're quite strong, but very sweet. You've got that subtle ginger inside, mm. loads of chocolate on the top. Mm. And I've got some milk chocolate as well, which we can just pipe over. Finishing touches. Oh, quite hot. To make the perfect eclairs. Oh, look at that. Looking snazzy. Patisserie stuff is all about showing off, isn't it, really? I think so. A delicate little touch at the end. There we go. Now finally transfer them to our board. Our chocolate eclairs with a ginger cream filling. Sorted. Heavenly. So, have a taste. Fresh mm. eclairs. I'll just get this small one here. Sorry, I couldn't help but notice yeah, that oh, you've made some eclairs. Oh, surprise, surprise. Well, I'm just saying, you know that I love eclairs, and I'm actually a bit offended you didn't ask me into the video. Mm. Now I've been thinking these were dainty little French you treats. You have cream coming out of his nose. <laughs> it's yeah. just like heaven. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the silence. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed to Sorted Food on YouTube, and check out sortedfood.com for loads more recipes.